There is a person that you are no longer sure of your job. You don't know in January whether you are going back or not. Come, let us pray together. Come, let us pray together. Let God help you. They said they have fully trenched me already. They gave me the papers. They gave you the papers. I am telling you, January, you are going back to your work. Are you hearing me? Because as you signed those papers, you were asking yourself, God, what am I going to do now? Because responsibility is too much. You are going back to your work. In Jesus' name. Let me just pray for all of you. You are free. My name is Desmo Philip. I'm coming from Kropa Pakistan, uh, but I am a Malawian. So when I came to church, I came with another pastor. I escorted another pastor who came from Malawi. Then I decided to be with him. Then I attended the church service. During the time when I was attending the church service, a woman of God prophesied that I'm seeing somebody who is passing through retrench like recently. Then I went in front, then she asked me if I am the one. I said, yes, I am the one. Because it happened just only Thursday, this last Thursday. Our company called us and told me that uh, they are no longer going to employ me because I am coming from Malawi and uh, they don't want anyone without ID. Of course, I have a passport. They said uh, they don't want anyone with a passport. They need ID, South African ID. But I don't have it. So they dismissed it as the end of contract. So what the woman of God said, it was just 100% perfect. Then at the end of everything, she told me that I am going back to work when we are opening in January. I'm waiting to see that. Amen. Your problem is your co-workers. Amen. Hmm? Amen. They conspire against you. Yes, it's true. Hmm? It's true. And now your job is pending. It's true. Forgive them, God will fight for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Forgive them, God will fight for you. Amen. Lift your hands, I pray for you. In Jesus' name, go back to your work. Hallelujah. There is a person here, you have a pain here in your spinal cord. It's even hard for you to sleep at night. Come, let us pray. God will help you. You have a problem of a spinal cord. It's you, you're my brother. This spirit, it's a spirit that is sitting and that wants to cause paralysis. It wants to paralyze you. So you can sit on a wheelchair and do nothing. Because they say you are working too hard. Hmm? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hmm? Yes. They say you are working too hard. You are making money and you don't have money. Yes, I don't have. You don't have? No, I don't. But they think you have money. Today, God is healing you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. My brother, you are free. Hallelujah. All of you are also free. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Shalom, Shalom people of God. My name is McDowell Tabani Spanda. I'm from Harare, Zimbabwe. The servant of God, Prophet Estendo, also gave a word concerning the same issue of my back. It's a spiritual issue because the doctors were not uh, able to say why given my body weight, my age, my health, I was having the kind of problem that I was having. But um, it's been identified that it's a spiritual issue. It is not a, a health or a biological issue. And I thank God for deliverance. I, I thank God for this opportunity to be here, particularly for deliverance on my back. Um, it is an issue that was causing me a lot of pain and discomfort. I was not able to sleep well. Um, and the fact that God spoke to his servants, all three of them, to the two of them to speak to the same issue, 
shows that God is aware of it, even though I had not said it to anyone, but God saw it, and I thank God for deliverance. I feel happy. I thank God for this time that I'm, I'm here. I am looking forward to the future in Jesus' name. Are you sure you are ready to pray? There is a person who you hear voices in your ears. You hear voices in your ears. Come, let us pray together. God will help you. You hear voices in your ears. You hear voices in your ears. There's also a child that goes to school, a student. You hear voices in your ears. Wanaskolo. Come, baby, let's pray together. God will heal you. You, they want you to go mad. They want you to go mad. Amen. That's why you hear these voices. Because when you hear them, it's as if your head, it's like it gets mixed up. Hmm? Amen. Yes or no? Amen, you are saying let it continue happening. Yes. Hold your ears like this for me. Both of them. In Jesus' name. Your issue is quite sensitive. In Jesus' name. Jesus name my sister you will never hear these voices anymore who, who is a Sangoma at home I don't know my cousin your cousin is a Sangoma yes. this thing is an attack because they want you to be initiated into this thing of being a Sangoma okay. are you hearing me yes you must pray against it because this Sangoma thing didn't start with your cousin. It's something that has been there in your family. Okay. Hmm? Yes. And now when you sleep, you start seeing these things of the waters and the, and the trees and the whatnot and the whatnot. Yes. Come out! In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Bring her back, bring her back. In Jesus' name. I destroy the spirit. In Jesus' name. I set you free. In Jesus' name, you will never be a Sangoma. Uh, greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Taylor. And I'm from Tembisa. So while we was in the service, uh, Prophetess Tender was calling people who were hearing voices in their ears. So as I was one of them, I decided to come to the front. And as I came to the front with the others, she said to me, she asked me a question, who is a Sangoma in my family? And I told her that uh, a, Sangoma, a, f a person who is a Sangoma in my family is my cousin. And then she told me that the same spirit is, is it's following me. That is the reason why I'm hearing voices in my ears. And one of which uh, it was true, I have been realizing that this spirit was following me. And then from there, the prophet prayed for me. And then she declared that I will never hear the voices again in Jesus' name. Thank you. There are two people here you have faced disappointment not long ago. Come, let's pray together. God is here for you. You face disappointment. Come. There's a second one. You face disappointment. Come. There's also a man. You face disappointment. Come. The person I'm looking for, you were promised a job. And they disappointed you. You didn't get it. Lift up your hands, I pray for you. In Jesus' name. In 
Jesus name. My sister, go, you will get a better job. Are you hearing me? Thank you. I said you will do what? I'll get a better job. You will get a better job. This one was not your own. Thank you. Don't worry about it anymore. Amen. God is giving you a new job. You hear? Go and celebrate. Lift up your hands, I pray for you. Touch your stomach. The 